and now we are connected to our Nord. Uh, so what can you do with this? We can come back here uh, and go to settings and inside of our MIDI settings, um, which we have selected on the left, uh, you can see on the right a whole lot of different options. For one thing, we can see that we have a third source available to us, so we're connected to MIDI, Bluetooth MIDI. You can see that there. We do have a virtual connection to Onsong. But if we scroll down here, one of the things we could do is we could listen for chords. Uh, so we're going to listen for chords from our Nords, uh, but just by tapping on here and tapping on all channels. Now I don't know what channel the Nord is set up on, probably channel one, uh, but I'm just going to listen on all channels. And the other thing I'm going to do is come down here to the bottom, and in this section we have the display, uh, and we could turn on different MIDI information that we want to display on our screen. So I'm going to turn on chord events, and that's going to then show me when we come in here, when Jeremiah plays a chord, it's going to appear on our screen. So let's check that out. So this is probably not terribly useful for most of you who know what you're playing on the keyboard. But one of the nice things is that we can use the same thing to go into our song editor. And now, instead of typing in the chords that we want in the song, we can just come here. I'm just gonna come here and say, we wanna play, I don't know, an A chord. Uh, he's gonna play an A chord, and when he releases the A chord, it's going to then show it in the song editor. So there is the ability for Onsong to listen to MIDI, pick up the chords, and then use them for other purposes. Now, the other thing that you can do uh, while we have this connected is we can also listen for anything that's coming from the Nord. We can listen for control changes, program changes, or note events, and have that perform a specific action. Uh, so I'm gonna come over here and open up my utilities menu in Onsong, and I'm gonna tap into editors, and here we have our MIDI editor. And you can see that the tab that's selected is MIDI triggers. So a MIDI trigger or a trigger in general is a certain event that happens that can then perform an action in Onsong. And down below we can see that we are listening for MIDI input on all channels. We can change that if we wanted to only listen to certain MIDI instruments that we have connected. Uh, but for right now we're just going to listen for everything. And when Jeremiah plays a note, it should then appear in our list. So here you can see that he's playing some notes and they're appearing. Now if he were to play those again, uh, they will select, and if he plays it one more time, it should push over and show us the action screen. Or just play the same note again. Just play a G, there we go. Um, or you can just tap on it on the screen, either way. So we could, play, we could uh, perform any action that we have. You can see we have 160 different actions available to us. Uh, so I'm just gonna do something real uh, visual. I'm gonna come up here and choose a group so this is a little easier to navigate this pretty big list of actions. And I'm gonna pick low light mode and we're gonna to toggle low light mode on and off. And so when he plays a G, it, the same G, you have to play the same G, it should then toggle our low light mode. So go ahead. There you go, try it again. All right, so as you can see, we can take MIDI input from our Nord keyboard, or again, any MIDI device, and perform an action.